Hey guys, welcome back. It's episode 5. Returner hideout. King Crunk, this way please. Ooh, I want that. No, no, no. Uh, I don't have control over my character right now. Okay, what's going on? Where are we at? Okay, good. That's where I need to go. Let's go back before we do all this. And let's... Nothing there. What about here? Nothing there. No, no. Have you spoken with Bannon? No. Oh, nice. Phoenix down. Anything in there? No. Oh, wait. Nothing in there. Okay. Eye drops, high potion, tent, sprint shoes, sleeping bag, ether potions. Okay. What's this way? The inn. Rest for a while. Yeah, let's do this first. Let me go ahead and get my strength back. I uh, did some leveling off camera and I went to stop at 16 when I got there and to make it all the way back because I, I went through the mountain and on my way back I got some more levels coming through the mountain so that was cool. The Empire wouldn't even think of looking for our headquarters here. Uh, that's a little optimistic there guy. Nice green cherry. Okay now that we've done that let's go talk to Bannon. Ooh, let's save. Come on, there we go. Okay, there we go. Look, see, 17, so everybody's 17 except Saban. Saban's 18. It's a beast. Oh, hang on, Bannon, before I talk to you. High potion, nothing there? Okay, here we go. Let's move it along. Bannon, we brought her with us. So, this is the girl, the one whom the Esper responded. Esper? It seems the Empire had complete control over her. Uh-oh, she looks a little uncomfortable. Carrier pigeons have kept me informed. Also, I heard that she wiped out 50 Imperial soldiers in mere minutes. Were they not very considerate just talking about her while she's there? That, no, that's not... Airy. For heaven's sake, Bannon, the girl doesn't remember anything. Hiding from the truth won't change it! Oh, he's a dick, huh? Perhaps you've heard this story before. Once, when people were still pure and innocent, there was a box that they were told never to open. But someone went and opened it anyway, unleashing all the evils of the world. Pride. Envy. Greed. Wrath. Nice. Gluttony. The only thing that remained in the box was a single ray of light, which is hope. Your power is a gift, not a curse. No matter what happens, you must remember that. You are in the world's last ray of light. You are the world's... You are this world's last ray of light. Our final hope. Bannon! Wow, this really just lay it on her, doesn't he? I've grown weary with the hour. Allow me to rest for a while. Okay. So we show up, you lay this on her, and then you want her to think about it. What a dick. Alright, let's... No. Hmm. No one stands up to the Empire, more people will be left like me, that's why we joined the Returners. Okay, so he lost somebody, and she has no family, no friends, and he says, no, not true. And besides, I'm sure there are people who feel you're important to them. Those people are counting on you too. He's talking about himself. Alright, so now that that's done, let's, let's talk to this guy. <laughs> Excuse me. Freedom is almost within our grasp. Okay, I guess he's not gonna let me out. I can go this way though. Nice, anything in here? No? Please have the courage to join us in our battle. Eh. Air knife, sweet. Phoenix down, sweet. Knight's code. Antidote. Ether. How about nothing there? No? Okay, she doesn't have sprint shoes on. I don't like that, but we'll deal with it. Okay, we need to go talk to... Okay, no, I just came from here, so I already talked to Locke. Let's go this way. There's Sabin. What's up, Sabin? I don't know what to tell you, but I do know that I trust my brother completely. He's always thought of my needs before his own ever since we were little. I think you should trust him too. But don't he tell him I said that. <laughs> He'll turn red as a tomato. So that's him. All right. Well, let's go see if everybody else is up in Bannon's room. There we 
go. Whoop, overpassed it. Or overshot it. Let's go. Alright, there's, there's me. It's not easy asking so much of you, and if we force our ideas on you, we're no different from the Empire, so we want you to decide for yourself. Okay, where's Bannon? Is that everyone? Can I... Can I go? Is that it? Fill in. Bannon, he went outside just a moment ago. Okay, good. Now I can go out here. Actually, fuck you, Bannon. Solo XP. Actually, this is probably a stupid idea. Let's go back. Alright, moving along. Have you made your decision? Will you become a, our last ray of hope? Yeah, I don't really have a choice. Really? You will? <clears throat> but I'm scared. The uncertainty you're feeling is only natural. Of course it is. Airy, I want you to have this. What is it? A charm to help keep you safe. Take it. Gauntlet. Nice. All right. Sweet. I have a pl I have a plan. Would you please gather everyone together? Sure. And boom. Look how good I am. Gathered everyone together. All right. Here we go. Let me get a sip of coffee. Mm. Uh, well then. We all know that the Gestalian Empire is using its Magitech power to wage war. The question is, where did they get that power? I had locked dig around for information. It seems the Empire has been gathering scholars from around the world to study Esper's. Narsh, Narsh, Narsh's, Nar blah, whatever is Esper was also the reason for the Imperial assault there. Are you saying there's been some kind of connection between Esper's and Magitech? Espers and Magitech, only one possible link comes to mind. You don't mean... The War of the Magi! No, that's impossible. <laughs> oh, no! My grandma used to tell me uh, bedtime stories about magical machines. Those stories were true? You're saying we're on the verge of a second War of the Magi? <clears throat> it's only a guess. The war took place a thousand years ago, and every historian has a different theory. But one theory says that energy drained from espers was used to power machines, and that ordinary humans were also infused with that same energy. <clears throat> so that's what Magitech power is. If we're going to fight Magitech en enemies, we need Magitech weapons of our own? No, that would bring about another war of the Magi, then what do you propose? I was wondering if we might be able to have a chat with an Esper. That's interesting, actually. Huh. It's risky, but that Esper, Esper reacted to Aerie before. If we could get it to react to her again, we just might be able to wake it up. Do you really think that would work? Why not? Sure. I can't say for sure, but I believe it's our best shot. Of course, we can't do anything without Aerie's help. Oh, here we go. Lay it on her. Guilt trip. Guilt trip. I'm not entirely sure I understand the plan, but... What the hey? This sounds like it'll be fun. What was that? What was that noise just now? Uh oh. Uh oh. <clears throat> Bannon! Sir! Our base, the place we thought the Empire would never look, they're, they're looking! <laughs> oh no, South Figaro. What's wrong? What's happened? The Empire's taken South Figaro, they're headed this way. So they found us. We haven't a moment to lose. Locke, I know, someone has to sneak into South Figaro to slow down the enemy, right? This is right up your alley. We're counting on you. Okay. So Locke is splitting up. Aerie, wait for me. I won't be gone long. And watch out for a certain lecherous young king who shall remain nameless. This guy moves in like a hawk. Locke. Okay. <laughs> he looks a little upset. <clears throat> Old habits die hard, eh? What about us? We can escape down the the Le 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 River and make our way to Narche. Ah, oh, those weird names. I'm curious about the Esper they found in the mines. Very well. I'll ready the raft by the back entrance. It's risky, but we don't have much of a choice at this point. It's not safe here. Come with us to Narche. It could be a change for you. it could be a chance for you to gain a better understanding of your abilities. She says, yes, we've no time to dilly-dally, let's make for Narsha. Okay, we're off. Okay. Everybody together? Here we go. Oh, hang on. Here we go, this raffle carries to Narsha. Hop up, yeah, let's go. 
Bannon, if Bannon falls in the battle, the journey's over. Okay. Uh, I don't. I know you gotta go a certain way here. Bannon's got some heals. I think. Nice. 94 experience for just the two, huh? Uh, sh let's do straight. Uh, let's see what this does. Okay, it's going to loop us around. So I got to go right. Oh, this is bad. Oh, man. Nice. Okay, okay. What do I get? 232 experience. Fucking beast mode. Oh, maybe straight was right. I mean, correct. Nice miss, nice miss. Nice. Okay, good. 94. Alright, before... Can I, can I... Oh, I can't. Uh, I think that's right. Let's make sure that's right, because I'm going to need it for the boss. Yeah, Raging Fist. Okay, good. We're going to need that soon. Auto crossbow. Okay, yep. We're good. We're good. 94 experience. Keep going. Oh, I, pick, I think I picked the right way. Sweet. Let's do that. And auto crossbow and pray. He's gonna pray and heal everyone. Take that. Ah, oh, don't die. Nice. Nice. Look at that pray. Oh, she's uh, she's blinded. She's got darkness. Here we go. Nice, nice. Here's a little little stop off point. Unless items and. Cures imp status. Cures poison. I don't think I have anything for her. And her darkness. Okay, well there we go. Back onto it. There's a save point. Okay, let's make the right choices. Uh, we're gonna come to a split in the, the thing again. Let's go left. See if that's the right choice. Maybe? Uh, I'm gonna take this save. Oops. Didn't mean to do that, sorry guys. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I hope this is right. It looks like it. Oh, I think it is right. I think, yeah, I think I made the right choice. Awesome! Nope. All right. Oh, he's gonna, he just failed his blitz. Shit. I still have him on blitz command, that's not good. Okay, come on, Bannon. Oh, you, shit, you're still on prey. There we go, okay, nice. Took him off a of blitz. Soon we're gonna have to fight a boss, there he is. Hey, what have we got here? Okay, sorry. Here we go. I'm not gonna let you through. Does that make me a bad octopus? It does make you a bad octopus. Auto crossbow. There we go. And attack. And we'll just keep you praying. Yeah, we're gonna wreck him. He's just gonna keep everybody healed up. No blitz. There we go. Oh, he might have fucked that up. Ooh! 230. Good God. Oh, I did fuck it up. Alright, pray. Alright, and then blitz left, right, left, there. Attack. There we go. I got Raging Fist this time. Nice. Rage that fist, baby. He don't like it. Ay ya ya ha ka 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 this is bad. Ha <laughs> Oh shit. Items. Uh tools that that 
Oh, thank you. Oh, I guess I got the point. It got the point. <laughs> I wouldn't bet on it. It's probably just hiding down there. Ew! Something stuck to my leg. <laughs> Get away from the edge. We should be all right now. Oh, Saban! Eight-armed freak. I'm gonna smash it with a blitz. No, Saban! Out of my way, Kronk. <laughs> what an idiot. Well, he's always been a bit rash. Saban! Oh, he'll be fine. Are you sure, Bannon? Sir? You're his brother. You should know better than any of us. Any second now, he'll flop back up onto the raft, right as rain. Whoa! <laughs> Think he missed the onto the raft part. <laughs> Saban! You're on your own now. Peace, bitch. Okay, now we come to... He's gonna go one way, we're gonna go another. That was it. Okay, now a race toward Narsh with protecting Bannon. What of Sabin, who was swept away by the raging waters? And how is Locke faring after having penetrated the Empire's defenses in South Figaro? Is all going according to plan? Now we get to split off. So let's save here. We're a mo Moogle. Moogle, Moogle. Choose a scenario. So we gotta go through all of them. Let's save and on the next episode we'll pick one and um maybe if you guys leave a like and some comments stuff like that let me know which scenario you'd guys like to see first lock or airy Kronk, and bannon or Saban. <clears throat> we have to do them all but it'll just be in a weird order so uh let me know and i'll catch you guys on the next one see ya